Today we are going to look at a floor strip and finish demo that was completed at the Burlington Art Center in Burlington, Ontario. After many years of buildup, you too may need to refinish your floors. To begin, clear the room of all the furniture and clean your floors as you would routinely, making sure to remove all dust and debris. Make sure to have all the tools you would need. Find the list on our website at www.corpchem.com. Mix floor stripper in a mopping bucket according to specifications and apply generously to the floor to be stripped. Make sure to work in manageable areas and apply into corners and edges. Wear non-slip shoes or use shoe covers as this process causes the floors to become very slippery. After some time you will notice the floor finish turns to a slurry. Make sure to keep the areas you are working in wet by reapplying more stripper. Now using your equipment, use black stripping pads to scrub the floors. You can use an auto scrubber or a swing machine for this process. With your auto scrubber, to strip your floors only engage the pad driver. Use your swing machine on the lowest speed setting to scrub the floors. If you have both pieces of equipment available and an extra set of hands, one person can use the swing machine along edges and work on the areas that have a high finish buildup. Use a doodle bug with the dominator pad or razor scraper on a pole to get those really tough edges. Time to apply a bit more stripper and scrub your floors again. Now it is time to pick up the slurry by using your auto scrubber with the vacuum motor on. Have one person squeegee the slurry from the edges for easy pickup. If an auto scrubber is unavailable, use a wet dry vac with a squeegee attachment. If necessary, reapply stripper to areas where there may be residual finish. Now use your auto scrubber or mop with just water to pick up any residue. Spot check random areas after drying with your hand. No white dust is a good sign. Start to apply finish by working in the area furthest from your exit. Apply finish to tricky corners and edges using a microfiber finish application pad and a floor finish bucket. Apply finish with your microfiber pad and run a bead down the width of the room to draw from. Now moving side to side, apply finish to the area, making sure to grab finish from the bead to keep a wet edge. If you can work out the timing, two people can apply finish effectively for better productivity. Make sure to give the room as much ventilation as possible for adequate drying. The speed of coat application and number of coats gives you different finishes for different products. However, in the end, you should get beautiful results. Here's a quick look at the before and after shots of this demo. If you would like to request a demo of your own, visit the contact page on www.corpchem.com.